Are we getting it? Yes. So, we hear the word of God more. We go to the park also. We also have bodily exercise. But the, more, the word of God should be more. Should be what? More. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So, uh, we want to saturate the, uh, the community with tracks. We want to saturate the community with what? Tracks. And the Lord will help us to do it. And uh, have you read yours? Everybody that received one, have you read yours? Who have read it? Raise up his hand. Okay, halfway. Who read it uh, full? Full. Who read everything completely? Okay, halfway. Raise up your hand. Okay. <laughs> the people that didn't read it at all, raise up your hand. Okay, so you have to read it, okay? You have to read it. And for those that uh, don't know how to read yet, you can ask your older siblings uh, or uh, parents can read it. Uh, um, uh, for their children to understand also. We understand. The Lord will help us all in Jesus' name. It's very, very interesting. We need to read it. Uh, <clears throat> our end of year, uh, sorry, our summer retreat is fast approaching. We have a few days to go. Today is 30. Today is what? 30. <laughs> no, I'm say I'm saying it as we say it in Africa now before we say before we say it in America. <laughs> 30. You understand? Because some others, people from other parts also are, are watching. It's not only Amer people in America that are watching. 30. But now we say 30 yet. Or some say 30. You understand? So there are many ways here in America to say it. So the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. So now, we are talking uh, about the days remaining. We just have 21 days to go to the program. So, we need to reach out to others. I think I tested uh, the invitation to our phone. I don't know if everyone or everyone got it. Uh, talking about the adults and uh, uh, you forward it to others, and uh, uh, I, it's also on uh, Facebook. Even from your phone, you yourself can put it there and uh, uh, invite others. We understand, so that they will connect. And I invited people that I saw that they have. A, I saw about two or three people that have about five million followers. Then I invited uh, the person so that he can invite what those. Uh, Five million, <laughs> you understand? So that's a strategy also. So the Lord will help us so that many can connect from wherever they are. And we prayed yesterday that those that don't have the data like in Nigeria that they use a data that the Lord will help them on that day they will have enough for it in Jesus' name. So because there are some that want to actually uh, follow through, but they don't have enough data because uh, like in Nigeria, I don't know whether other countries do it also. As you are browsing, your data is uh, reading. It's not like here we have an unlimited and all those kind of something. You understand? So the Lord will help us, help them rather, to be able to connect in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. At this time, we are going to uh, read, have our Bible reading. But before that, we are going to sing. <clears throat> Let's sing uh, Standing on the Promises of God. Standing on the Promises, I mean to sing. <clears throat> Page 5 of our 2020 end of year retreat booklet. Page 5. Standing on the promises of Christ, my King, through eternal ages, let His praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God, <clears throat> standing on the promises of God. 
standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing, standing, I am standing on the promises of God, want to go. Standing on the promises of Christ, my King, through eternal ages, let His praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God, standing, standing, standing on the promises of God. My Savior, standing, standing, I am standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises that cannot fail, when the holy stone and doubt and fear are sealed, by the living word of God I shall prevail. Standing on the promises of God, I am standing, 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 standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing, standing, I am standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises I now can see But the present blessing in the blood for me Standing in the liberty where Christ made free Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God my Savior, standing, standing, I am standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises of Christ the Lord, born to him eternally by love strong God, overcoming daily with the Spirit Son. Standing on the promises of God. Are you standing? Standing. Standing. Standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing. Standing. I am standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises I cannot fail. Listing every moment of oh, the Spirit's call Resting in my Savior as my Holy Lord Standing on the promises of God Are you standing? Standing 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 on the promises of God My Savior Standing Standing I am standing on the promises of God. Praise the Lord. Let's sit down and bow down our head to pray. <clears throat> Father Lord, we thank and worship Lord God for that song that said, Standing on the promises of God. And Father Lord, I pray that none of us that have sung this song will be anything less than standing on the promises of God in Jesus' name. Lord, as we read thy word now, give us understanding and bless us with the grace to do as you're going to direct us to do in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 10, our Bible reading. Nehemiah chapter 10, our Bible reading. Now, those that sealed were Nehemiah, the Tilsheta, the son of Ash uh, Akaliah and Zikija, Seraiah, Azariah, Jeremiah, Pashor, Amaria, Malkijah, Atush, Sabaniah, 
Malot, Arim, Meremoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Chineton, Barush, Meshulam, Bijam, Abijam, Abijam, Mijami, Mazar, Bilgai, Shamaya, these were the priests, and the Levites, both Jeshua, the son of Azaniah, Binui, of the sons of An uh, Enadad, Kadmiel, and their brethren, Shebaniah, Odija, Kelita, Belaya, Anna, Mika, Rehob, Ashabiah, Zakor, Sherebiah, Shebaniah, Odija, Bani, Baninu, the chief of the people, Parosh, Pahatmoab, Elam, Zatu, Bani, Buni, Asgad, Bebaya, Adonija, Bilvai, Adin, Atar, Iskija, Azor, Odija, Ashum, Bezai, Arif, Anatot, Nebaya, Magpiash, Meshulon, Ezir, Meshesh Zabel, Zadok, Jadua, Pelatia, Anna, Anaya, Osea, Anania, Ashub, Halub Haish, Pileisha, Pileya, As Shobek, Rehu, Ashabna, Maseya, and Aija, Anna, Anan, Mahulu, Maluch, Harin, Bana, and the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the potters, the singers, the uh, Netanins, and all that they had, separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the Lord, <clears throat> unto the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, everyone having knowledge and having understanding, they clave to their brethren, their nobles, and entered into a course and into an host to walk in God's law, which was given by Moses, the servant of God, and to observe and do all the commandments of the Lord our God, the Lord our Lord, and his judgment and his status, and that we would not give our daughters unto the people of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that the, we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we will leave the seventh year and the uh, exaction of every debt. <clears throat> also, we made ordinances for us to charge ourselves yearly with the third part of a shekel for the service of the house of our God, for the showbread and for the continual meat offering and for the continual bond offering of the Sabbath, of the new moon, for the set feast, and for the holy things, and for the sin offering, to make an atonement for Israel, and for all the work of the house of God, of our God. And we cast the lot among the priests, the Levites, and the people, for the wood, the wood offering, to bring it into the house of our God, after the houses of our fathers at times appointed year by year to burn upon the altar of the Lord our God as it is written in the law and to bring the first fruit of our ground and the first fruit of all fruits of all trees year by year unto the house of the Lord. Also the firstborn of our sons and of our cattle as it is written in the law and the first, firstling of our heads, 
and of our flocks to bring to the house of our God unto the priest that minister in the house of our God and that we should bring the first fruit of our dove of our offering and the fruit of all manner of trees of wine and of oil unto the priest to the chamber of the house of our God and the tithe of our ground unto the Levites that the same Levites might have the tithe in all the cities of our tillage and the priest the son of Aaron shall be with the Levites when the Levites take tithes and the Levites shall bring up the tithe of the tithes unto the house of our God to the chamber into the treasure house for the children of Israel and the children of Levi, Levi shall bring the offering of the corn of the new wine and the oil unto the chambers where are the vessel of the sanctuary and the priest that minister and the porter and the uh, singers and we will not forsake the house of our God. Praise the Lord. There is a lot of lessons here, but I want to bring out the key lessons. One, we see that the uh, priest and uh, the priest and uh, the children of Israel, they all agree and make a covenant with the Lord to obey the word of the Lord, to follow the word of the Lord, and do everything that God says they should do, and that they will uphold it as it ought to be. And the priest seal the covenant. The seal, uh, the priest seal what? The covenant, the agreement they made with the Lord. The, the whole uh, children of the, uh, the whole congregation of children of Israel, they made that agreement with the Lord and the priest sealed it. And the names of the priests that sealed it were mentioned in, in verse 1 to uh, uh, verse 1 to verse uh, 27. The name of those priests were mentioned. And we now see, uh, they now say in verse 28, and the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, and the porters, and the singers, and the and Nathanin and all that all they that had separated themselves from the people of the land unto the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, everyone having knowledge and having understanding, they also agree to that ceiling, to that promise. You understand? In short, all the Israelites then agree to that what promise to serve the Lord in truth and in spirit. And one of the things they are going to do, look at it in verse 29. They cleave to their brethren, their nobles, and enter into a curse. That is, they even put a curse on themselves if they don't obey it. You understand? And into an oath to walk in God's law, which was given by Moses, the servant of God, and to observe and to do all the commandments of the Lord our God and his judgment and his status and what are they going to do verse 30 and that we will not give our daughters unto the people of the land nor take their daughters for our sons because they are not serving the God of Israel we understand now as a believer God said don't be unequally yoked together with what unbelievers and we say we are Christian parents. Our daughter cannot come and say, I've seen somebody I want to marry. It's a Muslim. It might be the will of God. How can it be the will of God? And you as a parent, you can't say no. It is not the will of God. If you are a child of God, I brought you up in the way of God. God expects you to marry a believer. God expects you to do what? Marry. marry a believer. And you say, well, nobody knows. Maybe uh, uh, we don't know how God will make peace. We will. No, 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 no. God even pronounced judgment against such parents. We understand. He pronounced what? Judgment against such parents. Not even against uh, that, that child. Against the parents that permitted it. So the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. They are ready to do their duty. You understand? And we also don't give our... Uh, we don't uh, take an uh, uh, unbeliever for our son. Are we getting it? We don't give our daughters to unbeliever and we don't take unbeliever for our son. 
You see, they are ready to obey the word of God. And they said, again, verse 30, and that we will not give our daughters unto the people of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons. Are we getting it? Are we getting it? So it is very, very important. It is very, very important that we follow through. We don't give our daughters to unbelievers. That is, you are saying you don't want your daughter to go to heaven. Are we getting it? And you don't take unbeliever for thy son. It means you are saying you don't want your son to go to where? Heaven. God said it shouldn't be. We mustn't do that. We mustn't allow it. We should frown against it. We should do what? Frown against it. Look at Deuteronomy. Still have this place open. And look at Deuteronomy. God warned against it already. In Deuteronomy. And then he actually put a curse uh, on the parents that does that. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 7. I read from verse 1 to, uh, to 5. From verse 1 to 4. He said, When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Jebus, uh, Gigasites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanite, and the Perisite, and the Evite, and the Jebusite, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them, and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor shew mercy unto them. <clears throat> Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou not shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will my anger, will the anger of the Lord be kindled against who? Yeah. Who is that you? The parents. Are we getting it? Against you. And do what? Destroy thee suddenly. You know, at times when some parents take that decision, then things start happening. They will say, is the devil attacking me? Is uh, they, But they won't know that part of what they've done is uh, the cause. You understand? You know, the Lord will help us. That's why actually we are in debt Bible study church. You know, some things we teach and we say, people would... Because we have not go and show you all those things, people want to be arguing. Say, you people are going too far. And it doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter. Did God say it doesn't matter? Did God say it doesn't matter? No. God said it matters a lot that you'll be angry against that parent. And suddenly we do what? Destroy that parent. And I pray God. Uh, we will not be parents that we uh, permit all those wrong things and the Lord will not uh, be angry with us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, back to uh, Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 30, I'll read verse 30 again. And that we will not give our daughters unto the people of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons. And if the people of uh, the land bring where or any visual or on the Sabbath day to sell that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day and that we will leave the seventh year and the exaction of any of every debt also we will keep we will make ordinances for us to charge ourselves let me first explain that, that one you see what he's saying he said on the Sabbath because God said they should keep the Sabbath day and make it what? Holy. He said when the unbelievers now bring goods, they now bring commodity, they want to come and sell to them on the Sabbath, they've decided they will not buy from them. If they don't see buyer, what will happen? 
they will not open on that day again. You understand? Now, but now we are not keeping Sabbath. We are not keeping what? Sabbath. No, we are keeping Sunday. We are not keeping Saturday. We are not keeping Sunday. What we are doing is we don't forsake the assembly of the brethren together. Hebrew, stick it here open, open to Hebrew chapter 10, verse 25. 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 Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exalting one another. And so much the more as ye see the day approaching. As ye see the day what? Approaching. Which means our own. It's not that Sabbath or Sunday you can't buy something, you can't eat. But this thing is when it's approaching time for service. You will not use that time for service. Time is supposed to be in service. You want to go and buy something. You understand? And you miss the service. And you miss what? The service. No, you won't do that. All the time for service, that's when somebody came to visit you so that you will not go to service. Are we getting it? Oh, you see, I will have gone to service. This person came to visit me. This person is greater than God, so I have to pay this attention to this person and not to God. That's what you are saying indirectly. Are we getting it? So, he said, we will not do what? Buy from them. That is, I will not... I said, visit at that and say, if you really come to visit me, I'm going to church now, let's go together. Because I cannot rob God to pay Peter. You don't rob Paul to pay Peter. You understand? You don't rob Paul to pay what? Peter. You say, at least, Peter is in need. Then I stole from Paul and used it to help Peter. Will God be happy with that? God will say you are a thief, even though you help somebody. You understand? So, which means, the time to come to church, to receive from God, you will not use it to be receiving visitor, and you are attending to the visitor, you can't attend to God. You understand? You say, if you want to really visit me, let's go. Let's go and do the visit in the church. Let's go and hear the word of God. So, we don't place... The time for God for other things. You understand? That is our own Sabbath today. That's our own what? Sabbath, Sabbath today. Except if it's beyond your control. Let me say, God will not let anything bad happen to us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Let's say an accident happen. You will need to carry the person to the hospital. You understand? Or you have an emergency. You So you will not uh, say, oh, my... My family has an emergency, is sick or something like that, need to rush to a hospital. And this service time, okay, I will not rush the person to the hospital. Uh, we go to service. After service, I'll come back and come and see whether I still alive uh, before I'll take him to hospital. No, that's wrong. You understand? That one is emergency. That one is what? Emergency. So you have to go. And we have also what is called, essential, we call it essential service today. You understand? Uh, uh, that is, there are some services, if that work, in that you, that is, uh, let me say like the police, the essential service, you understand, essential worker, uh, like the police, like the uh, nurses, the doctors, if you're, uh, you're, because at times they do rotation, you understand, something like that, and the rotation fall on that day, you are still going to save life. You are still going to do what? Save life. But it is not that you pick over time for the time of service. Are we getting it? Not that you pick over time. That is not essential at that time. That's a money, pursuing money. Are we getting it? The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So now, so that is what the Lord is telling us. We, we should understand all these things and walk the way the Lord wants us to work. So, we must make sure nothing hinder us from receiving from God. Nothing hinders us from receiving from God. We want to receive from God. We come and receive from God. And we heard, we said spiritual exercise, uh, physical, bodily exercise profited, but very little. But which one profits more? 
Godliness. So, uh, bodily exercise is not essential service. Are we getting it? So you will not let it clash with coming to hear the word of God. Because it is not essential service. It's not saving anybody's life. Are we getting it? So we make sure we don't miss uh, service receiving from God. God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now going back to uh, chapter 10 of Nehemiah. Chapter 10 of Nehemiah. <clears throat> In verse 32, he said, Also we made ordinances for us to charge ourselves yearly with the, uh, with the third part of a shekel for the service of the house of God. There is something I omitted in the last verse to uh, verse 31 to, uh, that I didn't explain. So I need to explain it to us. You see, in the verse 31, the, uh, I'll read everything so that we can now see it. And if the people of the land bring words or any visual on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we will leave the seven year and the exaction of every debt. And in the land of Israel, they have what they call sabbatical year. They have what they call what? Sabbatical year. They will count uh, 50 years. Then the, uh, the I mean, uh, 47 years. The 40, 49 years. The 49th is the sabbatical year. You understand? And that year, they will uh, pardon anybody his debt. You understand? Because they are remembering how God pardoned them their sins. Are we getting it? And deliver them from slavery. So everybody now will be free, free from debt. Everybody will be pardoned of their debt. So there are some people that have a, uh, maybe somebody wants to borrow something from them. Are we getting it? And you now see that uh, it remains one year to sabbatical year. You say, no, 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 I, I can't borrow. Next year is sabbatical year. Then the thing will go like that. Uh, are we getting it? Then God said, if this person is really destitute, if it's really what? Destitute. That is not that he's borrowing to do business or to do this. He's if actually in need, hungry. God said, you will not deny to do what? To borrow. He's actually hungry. Not that he has food to eat, he has this to eat and that, that he's uh, looking for it to do what? Business to become a millionaire, to become a... Yeah, are we getting Are we getting it? He's looking for things to eat, to eat, to keep body and soul alive. God said you will not deny to your brother uh, to lend that he needed to him. Because sabbatical year is close, is close by. You understand? That is, if he's not able to pay you, then sabbatical year comes... You let it what? Go. It was to keep him alive. At least you've saved so from dying. You understand? But if it's now the one that wants to use it to become a millionaire, to, that one you can save yourself. You understand? Are we getting it? You can save yourself. And say, hey, sabbatical year is, then you say, what do you want to use to do business? Then uh, sabbatical year enters, then I'm not able to collect it again. Ah, you calculated where you want to come and read me. You, you understand that, but when it is for hunger, the person have nothing to eat. You can't deny him according to the Lord. You can't do what deny him if you have it. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So we we see that the Lord is a wonderful God, and He makes all this, uh, creates all this uh, space. Uh, for people to be able to get what they need, so that nobody will die in the land. So that nobody will do what? Die because of hunger in the land. Because the land of uh, Israel, the Canaan land, was given to Israelites for free. You understand? They didn't work for it. Even the buildings there is the Canaanite that built those buildings. God now removed them and put the Israelites there because of the sin of those people. We understand? 
So that's why God created an avenue that everybody must be able to have food to eat. Are we getting it? The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Now, they now, in verse 32 that I was about to read, they now uh, exert themselves, they shout themselves, that every year they will bring third part uh, of a shekel to the service of the house of God. They themselves now say, apart from tithe that God said we'll be paying. You understand? They said, we need the house of God to be well standardized. They now tax themselves. It was not the priest that taxed them. Are we getting it? It's a voluntary thing. It's a what? Voluntary. They now tax themselves that they will bring third part of the shekel uh, to the house of God uh, so that the house of God will have enough to use. So we see everything about uh, God, God wants it to be voluntarily. When I say everything, yes, He requires tithe and offering from us, uh, tithe from us, but offering is voluntary. And this that they gave, the uh, shout they gave, is voluntarily. Look at uh, the, and God actually don't accept something you are doing by force as if they are forcing the person. We understand. Let's look at it in Exodus chapter 25. Exodus chapter 25. Exodus chapter 25. <clears throat> verse 1 and 2. Exodus chapter 25, verses 1 and 2. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart, ye shall take my offering. You know this is not tight. This is what? Offering. It must be voluntary. It must be what? Voluntary. You don't force somebody. It's the person that will decide what he even want to give. It's the tithe that God said is fixed. You understand? And even the tithe, we don't force somebody to give it. If he gives God, uh, we, and so the, oh, you give him, God will fulfill his own part. You understand? So it's between the person and God. But we encourage everybody to do it. You understand? Because when you do it, I've done it. I've been doing it for years and I uh, appreciate what God is doing. You understand? As I'm faithful to him, he's also faithful to me. You understand? So now, the offering is voluntary. He said those that didn't bring it voluntarily as if they are uh, forcing them. And uh, you see, I could have used this for this. Now say, please keep your offering to yourself. Because it will not be rewarded. <laughs> you understand? It will not be what? Rewarded. Because God loves what? A cheerful yeah. giver. Praise the Lord. So there is a lot of lessons uh, in this Nehemiah chapter 10. But uh, uh, I will just uh, bring one more or so, so that uh, we will not uh, use the whole time of today on Nehemiah chapter 10. So we see uh, in verse 35, talk of their first root, which is their tithe, and uh, mm -hmm. he even talk about their firstborn. You dedicate your firstborn to the Lord. Why? Why? Because when you dedicate your firstborn unto the Lord, He will show example to others to follow. Are we getting it? The younger siblings are prone to follow the example of the older one. So you make sure the older one is really, really, really dedicated unto the Lord. And when he or she is really dedicated unto the Lord, the others automatically will follow through, though you still work on them too. You understand? Automatically they will do what? They will follow through. Because most of the times they want to do the way the older one is doing. They want to copy the older one. Are we getting it? So, uh, God wants uh, the first fruit uh, of your... Uh, Born that is of your children, that is your first son, you dedicate him, but all of them will be dedicated unto the Lord. But now in the Old Testament, because I just applied it to us in the New Testament, you understand, to know how we profit from it. In the Old Testament, actually, they dedicate the firstborn. As they dedicate that, that firstborn, they will now redeem the firstborn by paying ransom to the Lord and redeem this firstborn. You understand? 
That's how it was in the Old Testament. And God said he did that because in the land of Egypt, before Pharaoh could allow the children of Israel to leave, he has to allow the angel of death to pass through the land and kill the firstborn of every Egyptian. Because Israel is the firstborn of God. He told uh, Pharaoh through Moses, he said, let my firstborn, Israel is my firstborn, let my people go. And he said, I will not let them go. Then God said, okay, your own firstborn will suffer for it. You understand? So, but the Israelites, they put uh, uh, the blood of uh, a lamp on the uh, post of their door. So when the angel of uh, death came, he saw the blood, he didn't kill the firstborn of that house. We understand. So God said now, in appreciation, they will dedicate what? The firstborn, uh, their firstborn. But they will now redeem the firstborn. Because they are not animal, they are human beings. You understand? So they will return to their parents, but their parents will now pay for them to come back to their parents. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I just applied it to us. We make our firstborn to be really dedicated unto the Lord to show example to others, or our other children. And all our other children also must make them to be dedicated unto the Lord. In, uh, in, in the nutshell, we must make sure that we serve the Lord, we and our family. And Joshua put it like this. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Let's go to Joshua. Joshua. <clears throat> Joshua. <clears throat> Joshua chapter 24. Joshua chapter 24 verse 15 And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord choose you this day whom ye will serve whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorite in whose land ye dwell but as for me and my house we will serve the Lord say it as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. One more time. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. One more time. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Stand upon your feet and talk to the Lord. Father Lord, as we as we uh, really listen to thy word, that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Help every one of us. According to thy word, we've uh, read in Nehemiah and the interpretation of it all. Help us to do as you have instructed us and to do away with what we need to do away with in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this Bible reading and we thank you for the uh, understanding of it that you've given unto us. We pray the grace to do away with what we need to do away with and to do what you have instructed us to do. Grant to everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. And anyone that have fallen victim for doing the wrong thing, Lord, I pray you give them the grace to come out of it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, Lord, for the answer. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.